What's up, everybody? Smoking plantas. We're going to um, transplant some of these seedlings, seeds that we germinated the other day. Okay, so some of them are done. Um, they already have tap roots. And this is what has tap roots right now. And that's what we're going to be transplanting. I wrote them down so that I can know <clears throat> what's ready to be um, transplanted into the seedling trays and what's not so this just makes it faster for me all right you guys now we're going to use fox farm ocean forest for the seedling trays i can use my compost pile but i don't feel like digging it out right now so i'm just going to go the easy route and use that okay and then we're going to inoculate the seedlings for some recharge okay so we're going to fill up the seedling trays with the soil okay and we're going to give them some water that's just regular um, um, faucet water from my faucet is Tap City water. And it has the a 0.2 EC, sometimes 0.3. And it's pH at 7.4. Um, I've seen it at 7.4, 7. I think 7.4 is the, where it's the highest I've seen it. I can't recall right now. So, But yeah, so this is what's going to go on right now. Some of these are singles, that's why it only has one because there was only one seed batch in the 2021 year. Only one seed batch because that year I wasn't really trying to breed, but I had a few males. And these ones right here that says 21 on them, right here, like this. That year I had like two or three males, but I kept the champagne male around that year, but I didn't really use it for breeding that year. I just, you know, some years you just take breaks. And um, these are the indoor ones, the ones that say I. And um, those are crossed with the Triple B OG from Mossberg 420. It was um, the Mossberg 420 Triple B OG, which is a train wreck times Tangi, hermed. And it pollinated the other plants, but it didn't really pollinate them a lot because I caught the, the herm early and I pulled it out. But it pollinated some of the plants when there, which was um, indoor champagne was an indoor burner cookie, an indoor peyote gorilla, an indoor blue dream pipe dream, the indoor super silver haze, the indoor z kittles, indoor bruce bangor, and that was it from the triple b's and then the ones that say 21 these were all from outdoor, the ones that say the numbers and the years that's outdoor stuff but like i said this 21 I had a male outside. I'm pretty, probably thinking as a champagne male, but I'm not really sure. So I'm just going to put 21 on it. And we'll see what we get out of those. The ones that have 22 on them, um, those were crossed with the lemon tie hash. Okay, so this is the super silver haze. Um, these ones, um, they were clones from the seeds from IGLM. The super silver haze. Okay, that one was a clone, and um, and that one I hit it with the lemon tie hash that the homeboy um, Bima sent me from Bo from Bodhi seeds or Bodhi seeds, and it was lemon tie hash, and it was the male plant, and I hit the super silver hay. I hit a few plants. I hit I try to hit all of them, and not all of them got to get pollinated, but some of them did. So I hit the super silver haze, and then um. I hit the Z Kittles, which the Z Kittles is from Mr. Guevara, which is the Z Kittles crossed with Granddaddy Purple. So it's going to be a Z Kittles times Lemon Tie Hash. And then the Dosi Dose was from Seed. And this Dosi Dose was from IGLM also. So I hit the IGLM Dosi Dose with the Lemon Tie Hash milk plant from Bodai Seeds. And, um, and also this orange cookie is my own, own strain. And this was, I have different generations, but this was the 2017 generation, which was a white, um, which was an orange cookie clone hit with a white walker kush male. Okay, so this is orange cookie times white walker kush, and then times the lemon thai hash from Bodai Seeds. And same thing right here with the, um, with the champagne right here. That's why it has 17 on it, because this was the first generation of champagnes. It was a clone champagne that I got from the dispensary out here. And then I hit it that year with the White Walker Kush Mel Seed. 
and um so um this is a champagne times white kush the seventeens and now it's I hit it with the lemon Thai hash and same thing right here this Bruce Bangor um was the clone from the indoor from when these ones got pollinated by the triple B so this was the original C clone from the Homeboy UK 420 which is crossed with a burger and so now this is a Bruce Banger times burger times lemon Thai hash and this is the champagne 21 like I said um we don't know what's going on and also we have the the 2018 these ones are taking a little bit longer to germinate but they're starting to crack see they're older seeds so the 18s are um was the year that I used the Bubba Kush the year 17 I used the White Walker Kush so the 2018 I hit the White Walker Kush um and um because I also had a White Walker Kush females on the 17 on the year 17 so I hit some of the White Walker Kush females so we have the White Walker Kush 17 and then on the 2018 we hit it with a Bubba Kush male same thing right here this is Candyland but this Candyland never got hit with a White Walker Kush this is the first generation was um in 2018 so this is the candy night just times with Bubba Kush and the gelato same never got hit with a white walker Kush just a Bubba the cam dog see how it says cam dog 17 with this cam dog right here and the seeds that say that were made in 2019 they were crossed with a super glue um 18 which is a super glue cross with a white walker Kush and a Bubba Kush male Okay, that's the male and that's the female plant. So, um, this is the Cam Dog 17 um, times White Walker Kush times the Super Glue 18, which is a White Walker Kush and a Bubba Kush. So, that means that this Cam Dog right here has the White Walker Kush twice and the Bubba Kush once. You hear me? And that's how we're going to keep doing it and doing it. Okay, same thing right here. You already know how you explain all those numbers and letters already. So this also the Khalifa Kushes. Um they're starting to crack. The 18s are cracking a little bit slower because they're they're a little bit older seeds. But this one's the first generation also. This was just a Khalifa Kush times a Bubba Kush. Okay. And then these runs the 21, like I said, 21, it, it could be a champagne smell but I'm not really sure okay we're gonna put our, some soil on our seating tray we're just gonna put soil you know you guys okay okay we're gonna give the ceiling tray a little bit of water just to um moist the soil up okay that way it, the ceiling tap root it's not just on dry soil and it's also easier just to poke a hole, you know. We're gonna let that drain real quick. There's no um water tray down there yet. Um, we're gonna put the water tray once we're done transplanting the seedlings, okay? And then we're gonna start off with. Um, okay, first we're gonna go with the ones that have four. We're gonna go with the Chem Dog 19, okay? Which is a Chem Dog 2017, like I said, crossed with a White Walker Kush, hit with a super blue 18 which is a white walker kush bubba kush cross all right right here just make some holes okay got our seeds yo right there 
in. Oh, hold on. Before we put it in, let's put some recharge. So we're just going to grab a little recharge and put it inside the planting hole. Okay. That's where the seed's going to go. Okay. In she goes. Cover. Goes. And then we're not going to put these in the indoor, you guys. We're just going to leave it outside. Okay, we're going to use um, LED lighting and the sun to grow these out, okay? Until the end of the season. Okay. We're going to mark it with our markers. These are good markers right here. Outline markers. Got them on Amazon for my daughter, but I took most of them so for my gardening. But these things right here, they're good. They're they don't fuck around. They're waterproof, sunproof, and everything. Shake them like a spray can. You know, and it's a point like this. You push it down so the paint comes out first. There, see. Now you can use it take this off right here first so we're gonna mark this as the cam dog 19 right that's what we said yeah cam dog 19 okay put cam nineteen all right so I decided to <clears throat> I decided to put the ceiling in the indoor for right now for a few more days um i'm just waiting for the nighttime temp temperatures to um be above um in the, to be in the 50s um today in the next few days it should be um what you call it getting um you know warmer in the in the in the nighttime, like it should be in the 50s. Right now it's in the 40s still. So I'm gonna wait a few days for it to drop temperature to put the ceiling trays outside with the LEDs and the and the outside and that with the LEDs. So they're gonna be grown with the LEDs and the sun and the moon and the elements. Okay, these ceiling trays. But I'm just gonna wait a few more days. Right, so this is what the ladies are looking like real quick. This is the orange cookie. Okay, we've just been giving them water. That's it for the next um, last few days. I've just been giving them water, you guys. Okay. Just water here and there. I'll give them a few cups, solo cups, here and there. But it's just been pure water from the tap, no pH, no nothing. Just pure tap water from my faucet. Here are the ceilings. Some of them, they're already starting, some of them are starting to look good. I'm going to get, throw away some, get rid of some, throw them away. You know, some, a few of them, they're going to get go in the trash. And then some of them are going to stay and then, and then that's it. Okay. So, we're going to keep the ceilings here for a while. And the indoor. Okay. And, um. With the LEDs, okay. We got a heater. We got a humidifier. A humidifier, a hu uh, yeah, a humidifier, a fan, and a dehumidifier. Okay, and another oscillating fan up there. And then we got an exhaust. That's um, I think a 10-inch exhaust. 10 or 12. I don't remember. I think it's 10 actually. And then an AC. And then it's vented, it has vents, attic vents. Yeah. And those are 15 gallons. Okay, but the ceilings. So we're going to keep the ceilings in here for a little while, for a few days. And then next time you guys see these ceilings, I'm just going to be putting them outside. And then that's just where they're going to be. And we're going to take all these outside too, all these cups. And then we're going to throw away whatever's going to go into the trash. It's going to get 
thrown away and then so whatever's gonna stay is gonna stay. Alright. The bubba. Okay. And this is the Saddam Hussein. Okay, and this is the orange cookie. Right now, I'm just letting them go up, and then before we flip them into flour, I'm gonna bend them down with some strings. Okay, we're gonna use the strings and maybe the trellis. I'm not sure about the trellis if we're gonna use it or not, but definitely gonna put them down with some strings. All right, so there we go. Cam Dog, Super Silver Haze, Sea Kittles, um, Peyote Gorilla, <clears throat> Dosey Dose, Orange Cookie, this, this right here, Z Kittles, um, Bruce Bangor, Super Silver Haze, Champagne, Runs, Bruce Bangor, Champagne, Burner Cookie, What's this over here? Champagne, and Khalifa Kush. Okay, and then we still have some seeds germinating um, in the paper towels. <clears throat> and then when those are ready, then we're going to put those in soil. Alright, peace out everybody. Much love to all my peeps. Fuck the haters.